Hi everyone. As so we're just a few weeks away from Midwest Model United Nations 61, I'm really excited to go over a little bit more in detail the online platform that we'll be using. We're going to be using Gatherly, uh, which we're really excited about because we've already had a lot of time to play around with it ourselves. And we've already gone to a couple online conferences and seen just how close uh, it is as an analog to real life Model UN. I'll spend a little bit at first just going over the basic interface before showing you some examples of how Gatherly is used. When you get into Gatherly, it will look something like this. The Gatherly platform is fairly straightforward and easy to understand. If you've used other teleconferencing software, it won't feel that dissimilar. In the middle of the screen is the main window. That window is where anyone who you are in a group with uh, you'll be able to see their video, or if there's a broadcast happening, like for formal session during MMUN, you'll be able to see the broadcast video in that main window. Additionally, if somebody is sharing their screen, it'll show up in that space. In the bottom left is a webcam preview for you. What you look like, what you're broadcasting out to Gatherly will show up in that box. In the bottom middle are the main controls. You always have a button to mute yourself or unmute yourself. You'll always have a button to turn your webcam on or off. And you'll always have at least a raise hand button. In the top right is the map. The map is what allows you to move around the room, to switch between floors or committees, and also see where other delegates are. In the bottom right is a very, very useful box that has four tabs. It's the people, chat, and announcements box. In the top middle is the event info button that'll let you see the conference program. And in the top right is the settings button that lets you change your webcam and microphone settings at any time. We generally recommend that you use Google Chrome to access Gatherly as that's the one we most extensively tested. When you log in with Google Chrome, you'll be prompted to allow access to your microphone and webcam which are required for use of the platform. After you've done so, Gatherly will take you to a screen to adjust your audio and video settings. If you have multiple webcams or multiple microphones, be sure to select the correct one. You can also click on the uh, play button in the bottom right to test your speakers and ensure that you'll be able to hear correctly. Once you're done, simply hit continue and you'll be brought into Gatherly. The first thing it will do is prompt you to take the tutorial. We strongly recommend you do as it walks you through all Gatherly's basic features. It shows you around the interface, shows you how to access the event info where the conference program will always be available. You can click it at any time to view it. And uh, then it'll teach you how to walk around. You click around on the map to walk around. You click to join somebody in a group. And then it'll show you how to go from one floor to another using the elevators. That's all there is to it in the tutorial. And then you'll be brought right into the MMUN space and shown the conference program upon entering. Once in the space, you're able to navigate around the room using the map. We'll have several colored squares set up that can be used as caucusing spaces so that you can direct other delegates where to go easily by color, color or letter. You'll also be able to see other delegates in the room who may come join you in a group. Once two delegates come close together, it automatically forms a group and your video is automatically shared unless you have your camera turned off. Once you're in a group, other delegates can see your group and can join it at any time. Each group can support up to 15 people and no more. If you need to work with a larger group, such as in the case of a merger, we'll suggest that you form smaller groups and then send representatives to coordinate in a larger effort. Delegates can leave your group at any time by clicking away on the map, and you can also leave your group at any time by doing the same. If you click on another group, you'll be able to join it or you can rejoin your original group by clicking on them on the map. At any time during committee, the dais staff may begin what's called a broadcast. A broadcast will typically signal the beginning of formal session where speeches can be heard, 
questions can be asked of other delegates, and points and motions can be made. When a broadcast begins, it will interrupt any group that you have going on, and when it ends, you're simply returned to your group. The hand raising function will be the primary mechanism that chairs will use to recognize delegates. As you can see here, a delegate is speaking, and another delegate raises their hand to ask a question, at which time they're added to the broadcast to ask their question, and then removed from the broadcast to allow the original speaking delegate to answer the question. At any time, you'll be able to switch between floors by clicking the elevators button on the map. That will take you to a list of available rooms. Faculty advisors and head delegates will have access to most of the rooms in the conference. Feedback rooms will be used by chairs as needed in order to give feedback to large groups. When in small groups, you'll have the option of sharing your screen by clicking the share screen button in the bottom middle. When you do, it will pop up a window give you the option to share your entire screen, an application window, or a Chrome tab. When you do, everyone in your group will be able to see it. Let's take a second now to look at the box in the bottom right. The people tab will allow you to search for other delegates and send them private messages. There's also a group chat that will allow you to talk to everyone in your group by text and a news tab that will keep any committee or conference wide announcements that are shared by MMUN staff visible at any time. And as a final reminder, if you're ever having audio or video issues, clicking the gear in the top right at any time will allow you to adjust your video and audio settings. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We're really excited to be bringing MMUN 61 alive using the Gatherly platform. We hope to see you there. And if you have any questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out.